Hey guys, I just wanted to really quickly go through how we solve by substitution, give you a review so it's up so you can practice a little bit more for your homework as well as for your test. So what we've been talking about in class is when we solve by substitution, we basically have a few steps we always follow. We need to isolate a variable, we need to plug that into the equation, distribute, combine, and then solve. It basically always follows that pattern. So for any systems of equations like this, here, when we look, we already have y as an isolated variable. It's by itself. It's one y. So that's what you want to isolate. So we're just going to take this entire part of the equation and plug it in to that y value. So we're going to go 2x minus 2 parentheses negative 2x plus 1 equals 4. Now, we've isolated, we've plugged it into the equation, so now we're going to do our distribution. So we're now we're going to have 2x, a negative and a negative is a positive, plus 4x, a negative times a positive is a negative 2, equals 4. I've distributed, so now I'm going to combine. When I combine those, I have 6x minus 2 equals 4. And lastly, all I need to do now is solve. So I'm going to move my 2 to the other side of the equation by taking its opposite. That goes away. And I'm left with 6x equals 6. I'm going to divide both sides by 6. And I have x equals 1. However, this is a system of equations, so it's a coordinate set that I'm looking for. So my va x value goes into 1. I'm just going to take this 1 and plug it back into my original equation. y equals negative 2 parentheses 1 plus 1. y equals negative 2 plus 1. y equals negative 1. And you'd be done with that problem. Now that makes it really easy when you have something that's a, uh, in slope-intercept form and a standard form equation. So this would be slope-intercept because it's in y equals mx plus b, and this would be standard because it's got two variables on the same side. Okay, So that's when substitution makes it really easy, but you don't always get it that way. Sometimes you have where both equations are in standard form, so if that's the case, you're going to have to do the same steps. Isolate the variable, plug that isolated variable into the equation, distribute, combine, and then solve. So first things first, we need to isolate a variable. This x is already all by itself, so I'm going to choose to isolate this x. And to do that, I'm going to move my y to the other side of the equation. So I'd have x is equal to 2y plus 13. Now that I have that isolated, I'm going to take whatever is opposite my x and plug it into my x value of the equation. So I'm going to have 5 parentheses. 2y plus 13 plus 5y is equal to 20. Now that I've plugged it in, I'm going to distribute. I'm going to have 10y plus is that 15, 65 plus 5y equals 20. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. So now I have 15y plus 65 is equal to 20. So now that I've combined my like terms, I'm just going to solve. I'm going to move my 65 to the other side of the equation, and I'm going to get 15y is equal to negative 45. Divide both sides by 15. That goes away, and I get y is equal to negative 3. However, it's a solution set that I'm looking for on the graph, so that's my y-coordinate of my solution set. To get my x-coordinate, I'm just going to come back to my original equation. x equals 2y plus 13. I'm going to plug negative 3 in here. So it's going to be negative 6 plus 13, so x equals negative 6 plus 13, or x equals 7. I'm going to plug my 7 here, and that is my answer. 
So again, whenever you have solving by substitution, you always need to get an isolated variable. That's why it always works best when you have one in slope-intercept form, but if they're in standard form, you can isolate a variable. Take that equation, plug it back into your equation, distribute, combine, and then solve. Okay? So hopefully that helps you do your homework. Um, that was a couple problems directly from the homework, so if you haven't gotten your homework finished yet, you should probably get those problems written down, and you should be set. Thank you.